Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and if you're looking to build a gaming PC for about 70,000 rupees then this is a video for you as we list the components we think you should invest in when building a gaming PC for 70,000 rupees. Let's kick things off with the processor. Now the processor we've selected is an Intel Core i5-4440 which is priced at about 12,500 rupees. Now, yes, it's not a K-series i5 processor, but before you huh out of this video, do keep in mind that the performance difference between this processor and the nearest K-series is not that much uh, better, but the price difference between the two is a lot, and hence we've picked this particular processor. You can also opt for an AMD FX 8000 series processor, which will be a bit cheaper, but less powerful as well. Um, if you have a tighter budget of, let's say, 50,000 rupees, uh, we have a different video, which you should go and check out if you're building a PC for 5,000 rupees. Moving on for the 70,000 rig, we think for the motherboard, you should go for the ASUS H97ME motherboard, which is priced at about 7,500 rupees. It's a simple rule. When you need to cut costs, go for a micro ATX motherboard. That's exactly what we've done here. The H97ME from ASUS is an ideal choice for the job. The motherboard supports 32 GB of RAM PCI 3.0 port and also has an M.2 socket 3 just in case. Now for the RAM here, we recommend you take a look at the Corsair Vengeance 2 8GB DDR3 1600 MHz RAM at 5800 rupees approximately. Now you can either have Corsair Vengeance or HyperX Fury for the same price. It boils down to the person's preference basically and we have gone with Corsair. Now, moving on to storage, we have an SSD to recommend here. It's the Samsung 850 EVO 250 GB SSD priced at about 7,500 rupees. The Samsung 850 EVO is the best SSD for consumers in the market. It offers higher data rates and comes at a reasonable price as well. Make this your primary drive for those fast boot times. As far as storage for the games is concerned, we recommend the Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive priced at about 3,000 rupees. Now the 1TB Seagate Barracuda is an essential piece of hardware and its affordable price makes it even a better option. Especially considering the number of games you're going to install, we think 1TB may fall short as well. For the graphics card, we think the Zotac GeForce GTX 970 4GB card priced at about 26,000 rupees is the one you should go for. Now we've tried to squeeze the best graphics card money can buy and the Zotac GTX 970 AMP is an ideal choice. Whether you want to game at 1080p or even at 2K, the Nvidia 970 can handle all your gaming with ease. For the cabinet, we recommend the Corsair Carbide Spec 1, that's Spec 01, which is priced at about 3,400 rupees. Now, cost cutting meant we ended up with less money for the PC case, but don't worry, we went for the classic. The Corsair Carbide Spec 01 not only serves the purpose, but adds a style quotient to the rig as well. For the PSU, of course, we recommend the Corsair CX600 priced at about 4,500 rupees. Now, the Corsair CX600 is one of the most preferred PSUs out there. It's reliable, long-lasting, and can sustain the extra load of multiple fans and even a CPU cooler if required. Well, there you have it. Those were our recommendations of building a PC for about 70,000 rupees. That's only the CPU. It doesn't include the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. And right now on your screens, we are just going to quickly list all the components for you for a quick glance at everything you're going to need to build a gaming PC for a budget of 70,000 rupees. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment below to let us know what your favorite gaming PC components are or if you've actually built a gaming PC for the same budget and let us know what components you use. And as always, subscribe to our Digit YouTube channel for more videos like this one.